Well, two weeks from today, we'll be telling you about a rare total eclipse of the sun. There's a lot of excitement about this, but to enjoy it safely, you need special protective glasses. NBC 10's Semi Topa Adelaide spent the day learning where you can get them. It's very important to use these glasses, for your children to use these glasses, for anyone to. Please don't use normal sunglasses. If you're planning to witness the solar eclipse on April 8th, you need a pair of special viewing glasses like this one. The Barrington Public Library is giving them away. And after 1,700 people attended the library's last solar eclipse event in 2017, they've ordered more this year. So we requested 2,000 glasses to give away to the public, and we have them here at the Circulation Reference and Children's Desks. I got this pair from the Barrington Public Library, and as you can see here on the inside, it says that it is safe for direct solar viewing. It also states how it meets certain requirements and how to use it. But not all glasses like this one are legitimate. NASA and others are warning about counterfeit glasses, even going as far as listing certified suppliers and retailers like Walmart. Many Walmarts are selling them for less than $2 a pair, and many Rhode Island and Massachusetts public libraries have them for free. But why are these glasses needed? If you stare at the sun, you can burn your retina, just like that. So that's why it's important not to stare at the sun. And when you're looking at the eclipse, as the uh, moon comes in front of the sun, you're still getting those infrared rays exposed to the retina. So it's still very dangerous. If skies are clear, the solar eclipse will be visible around here between two and four in the afternoon when students are leaving school. So if they are not supervised, please have parents educate their children to not look at the sun. Do not look directly at the eclipse. Use the viewing glasses or um, they can try the apparatus, but do not look directly at the sun. In Barrington, Temi Talk by Adelaide, NBC 10 News. And you can learn more about the eclipse on the NBC 10 WJAR YouTube channel. We've posted videos about the timeline for the eclipse and the best places to see it for yourself.